Wednesday. Yeah, that's all I got for that. So the glasses are back because I was going to film this and then I went in the kitchen and donut. So who knew this was a step to becoming Hank Green, right? You vlog every day. You wear these glasses. You eat donuts, which is my favorite step. And sticky. I was originally going to make a video about being a notorious quitter. And it was going to be kind of serious. And I was going to tell you about all the things I've quit. And you were going to be bored. But then I had a really <laughs> crappy day. And I thought I would practice some of the self-care that my professors are always talking about and do something fun and tell you a fun story. So here is a story that will not make you cry like all the things I heard in my internship today. So, mm, transition, I don't. Transition. So, I will tell you this story now. <laughs> The way this story starts is that I was on that trip, remember? I went to San Diego, then I went to Disneyland, and then I came home. Well, on my way home, I was in the Oakland airport, and I was, like, running to use the restroom and then catch my connecting flight because it was pretty much boarding. And I haven't ridden a plane in five years before two weeks ago, so I was a little bit scared. And I didn't want to miss my flight and get stuck in Oakland. So I'm in the Oakland airport walking really fast, and I see this guy, and I'm like, you are famous. I don't know your name, and I don't know what you've been in. So this man that I saw, this is the description I told my friends when I got back. He had brown hair and brown eyes, was possibly British, and was maybe in a fantasy movie, and he possibly could have played a pirate in something. Didn't know if it was TV, didn't know if it was a movie, just knew that he was famous and I needed to know who he was. So I kept telling people this story and I told multiple friends and then I told one of my friends who is like obsessed with celebrities and she's like, we're figuring this out today. I'm not going to sleep until we figure out who you saw. So we literally were on IMDb for two hours and people would just shout out, maybe he was in this, and then I would search through the cast list and see if I recognized anyone. So we went through Lost, we went through Doctor Who, we went through Vampire Diaries, and then my friend goes, Amanda, is he from a BBC miniseries, possibly a Jane Austen one? Because I've seen all of those. And I was like, oh, I don't know, maybe I'll check. So, the gentleman I saw, who I found in a cast list from a Sense and Sensibility miniseries, his, na his name is Dominic Cooper. And you probably maybe recognize his name, but you would definitely recognize his face because he has been in Captain America and he was in Mamma Mia. He was like the young fiance guy. And so my heart was appeased, and I can sleep at night knowing that I saw Dominic Cooper at an airport. And now I'm going to stalk him and shake his hand and tell him, I know who you are, I know that you're famous, and thank you for playing Willoughby in Sense and Sensibility because I recognized your funny hat and thought that maybe in my mind it was a pirate movie. So, Dominic Cooper at an airport. Who could ask for anything more? That's... That's all I got for you today, folks. I hope that you have a good Thursday, and I will see you tomorrow, which is Thursday. Bye, bye, bye.